recently, a lot of my friends, uh, wives specifically, are telling me they're having a lot of vertigo and they're getting dizzy, okay? And this isn't just one or two. I'm talking like these are close friends of mine. Very, they're all executives and successful business people. And they're saying, I'm getting vertigo. I'm getting the, you know, dizzy. I've never had vertigo. I don't know why I'm getting dizzy. Then they go to the doctor and the doctor tells them, you know, hold your head, the whole exercise, what you need to do and do this and do that. And one of them went to another doctor in Idaho, I believe. And the doctor came back and said, you know, uh, there's a couple things that's going on. It's called electrosensitivity. I'm sure you've heard of electrosensitivity. And BBC even did an article on this saying, I didn't believe people had it. And then it happened to me, uh, uh, which is, you know, folks who are feeling certain things, diagnosis based on 5G. This is a BBC article saying, uh, I didn't believe it. Uh, uh, people had it. Then it happened to me. Close, fatigue, pain, headaches, dizziness, burning, twitching, nausea, palpitations. Just some of the symptoms experienced by people who say, they suffer from electrosensitivity. Uh, uh, these are most self-diagnosed, years of... Anyways, on the bottom, it says the World Health Organization says electrosensitivity is not a medical diagnosis, and both the uh, World Health Organization and Public Health England say there's no scientific basis that these symptoms are linked to electromagnetic field exposure such as 5G. You know, you hear some people say yes, you hear some people say no. What are your thoughts of any linkage between this uh, of vertigo and dizziness and 5G towers being put up in different places? Uh, vertigo and dizziness has been a symptom of electromagnetic field poisoning for at least 120 years. Every time there's a increase in the electrical activity on the earth, millions of people get vertigo, dizziness, lightheadedness, and there's a very clear reason for that. Uh, which basically goes into the water, which I think is probably going to be too technical, but it basically destructures the water. We have very clear evidence of this, and that creates the experience of altered electrical activity because, after all, we're electrical beings. And anybody who says, oh, there's no evidence that we're electrical beings, I just say, have you ever heard of an EKG or an EEG? These are measuring electrical wavelengths in your brain and your heart. And you can also demonstrate that you can have abnormal electrical activity by an EEG with exposure to cell phones. You can do a mitigation device, and so you can mitigate that, and the abnormal electrical activity will go away, and the vertigo and dizziness will be gone. The World Health Organization is wrong. There's approximately 1,200 peer-reviewed studies in the literature documenting the health consequence of exposure to electromagnetic fields. D Doc, anybody what, what, who says otherwise is simply not aware of the science. 